Since this year is a little bit different, we are going to be doing our audition process online. So after you submit your application package to the school's office, we will email you telling you how to submit your portfolio. So you'll be submitting your portfolio online and it will be looked at by our jurors, which are teachers and former students and other artists. If you're auditioning for grade 9 or 10, we want to see at least 10 of your best works. Um, if you're auditioning for grade 11, we want to see at least 12 pieces. And if you're auditioning for grade 12, we want to see at least 15 pieces. But really, we don't want, like, we want to see as many as you can. And that can mean unfinished pieces, ideas that you haven't actually created yet, um, and literally any medium you can think of painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, film, animation, like the craziest stuff you want to bring, fashion, baking, even anything you want. When applying to ESA, you have the f you definitely have the freedom to bring in whatever you want, and that is definitely welcomed as well. You don't have to just come in with um, traditional artworks or you know paintings and sketches. You know you can uh, you can come in with any conceptual ideas or any other mixed media pieces that um, that you may have that you may be working on. Yeah, so you should bring everything. We want to see all of it. We want to see things you haven't finished. We want to see things you're planning on starting, things that you don't like anymore. You tell us why you don't like them. Like that's we want to see everything. And that's also just what the program is like. It's like everything. It's all the parts of making art and being an artist. It's here. You are going to have to document that in a way that you feel proud of. So whatever you think represents the best um, documentation of your work you have. And so that you're going to send in along with an artist video. So that's just going to have to be you talking, which I know can be scary, but this is what you need to do. You need to introduce yourself um, and then go through your artworks, talk a little bit about your art, um, what it's about, why you make art, um, any ideas you might have. We want to hear everything you have to say. I was also new to the contemporary arts program and the school in general in grade 10. And, you know, of course I was nervous about whether I would be behind because everyone else had a year ahead of me in this program. But as soon as I came in, within the first week, it was the most welcoming and nurturing environment. I felt like I really, really belonged here and that was so valuable to me. And of course you're gonna have those nerves if you're coming in a year late, but please be assured that everyone here is so happy to be here and so happy to have you here and everyone really, really cares.